Hi there. I'm Dr. Anthony James, Dean and Director of the NAIC Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine, Thai Yoga Center, and the lead instructor for the Putai Sawan Sangha, our martial arts school here, located here at the Thai Yoga Center. I want to uh, briefly introduce you to who we are and what we do that we have these schools, uh, SCNM, Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine, which is uh, offers programs from our Fast Track Bare Bones Doctorate Program, which is eight to 12 months, to our longer and more exhaustive postgraduate programs like our PhD in Ayurveda Medicine, our Doctor of Sacred Natural Medicine, or our Naturopathic, our Traditional Naturopathic Degree Program, but we also have an online program for continuing education called Learn Thai Yoga Online. We are schools and graduates with a big impact, so welcome. Well, welcome from myself and welcome from all the other staff, adjunct staff and volunteers who bring these programs to fruition here at the Thai Yoga Center and Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine. First of all, we are a religious school. And as such, that means all of our schools are seminaries under the NAIC, or Native American Indigenous Church. Now, we are Native American people. We actually, in the NAC, have active members from over 41 federally recognized tribes. Although we're not a tribe, we are a Native American Indigenous Church, a federally recognized Native American FBO, that means faith-based organization or church, Indigenous Tribal Organization. NAIC was established to provide our community with service, education, and spiritual fellowship and healing as well. Heavy, heavy emphasis on the healing. To protect the practice of Mother Earth-based Native American spiritual traditions, ceremony, sacred practices, indigenous and natural medicine ways. And I mean all of them. We don't emphasize one ceremony like some groups do or one sacrament like one group does. We emphasize all 10,000 traditional uh, medicines and protocols that originate in indigenous and traditional native medicine. NAIC is also a Florida State Incorporated not-for-profit. We're a 508 C1A compliant FBO an integrated auxiliary of the Priory of Saving Grace under the Holy Apostolic Church of the East, Chaldean Syrian Rite. We're a diocese of the Sacred Medical Order of the Church of Hope, or SMOC. In a nutshell, 25 words or less, NAIC is a church, is a religious organization, which is a tribal organization, but we are also a Christian organization, and we follow Christian moral and ethical teachings and practices as criteria for our expression and practice of medicine. That's one of the ethical basis for the medicine that we practice. Now, our school is not just a school. It's a movement. Also, we're not new. Okay, this program has been in effect full time since 1984. We've had students from over 32 countries participate in our program. It is a movement. Aside from the students who've joined our programs, it's all the people who've been helped by our graduates. Inestimable. It's the people our graduates have worked with, counseled, treated, and ministered to, which is hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S., Thailand, Ecuador, West Indies, India, and Puerto Rico. Yes, we are active internationally. We have helped establish and support ongoing programs, including clinics, medical centers, educational centers, and schools in Thailand, Ecuador, West Indies, India, and Puerto Rico. Uh, we're currently working on an initiative to expand more into West Indies and Puerto Rico. If you're interested in that, let me know. We are a movement an elegant, sophisticated, and evolving approach to health and healing and health care. Get that, elegant, sophisticated, and evolving approach. That means we are not locked in to some traditional medicine that some medicine man or woman or other practiced at some point in history. 
Okay, that may be a charismatic expression of what is traditional Native American medicine. We actually want to practice all of the traditional medicines of indigenous and traditional people that are functional, practical, and applicable to the modern day. In other words, ancient medicines for modern times. Now, our mission is to play a crucial role in improving health, happiness, and well-being. And through that process, to create an expanding effect that transformed the world for the better. And when I say world, I do mean world, as in greater world. We are international. We want to continue to have an international impact. However, I also mean the world of your life, the world of your family's life, the world of your practice's life, that we want to improve this happiness and this well-being for you and for everyone around you. And we believe that we have been given by our elders in our own research the tools and methodologies to do that predictably and conscientiously. Our mission is to rejuvenate the health of the healthy and to alleviate the disease of the sick as a sacred and spiritual practice based on moral and ethical principles. And we actually believe that we can bring these moral, ethical, sacred, and spiritual practices of true medicine to any illness, to any disability, to any condition, whether brought on by circumstance, trauma, bacteria, or virus, or lifestyle. We believe we have medicine for all of the above given to us by our elders and we can prove it. I'd like that opportunity to prove it to you. The simple truth is what we do, our mission has a global impact and again that impact is through our graduates and through the various people who've come through our program as they go back to their respective homes. As I said before, we have had students in this program uh, from uh, 30, uh, 1, 32 countries. The world watches what we do. Our primary style is called Soma Veda, Integrated Traditional Therapies. It is a system of ancient healing for modern times. Soma Veda is, an, like the name says, it's an integrated traditional therapies. Now, we specialize in Marma Sakitsa, or chirothesia, or hands-on therapies, which uh, come from various sources, but primarily from Thailand, India, but also Native American uh, uh, pushing and pulling or bone setting as traditional arts, okay? This is the prerequisite program for all of the other certificate programs that we have, and we have five other certificate programs, and it's a prerequisite for Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine college degree programs. That way we're all on the same page, at least with one basic skill set of fundamentally productive, practical medical techniques that we can use for health and healing and that you can use to begin or develop or expand your practice. Now, if you're already an expert in chirothesia, or you're a chiropractor, or you're an osteopathic surgeon, or what, yes, some of the teachings, which are traditional, may seem um, basic or elementary to you. Well, so be it. But to be qualified in indigenous traditional Native American medicine, you actually have to train in indigenous traditional Native American medicine. So that's why we require it. And then you can understand who we are, why we are, and you can understand the vernacular terminology that we use to describe who, what, where, and how we are and what we do. And you'll have fun doing it, too. So join our program, and you'll find yourself part of a community of like-minded people. A community of people like you, remember, like you, who do not just value health, but who want to do something about it. People who value health and healing, non-invasive, natural therapeutic approaches, and functional protocols. People who eat healthy food and value healthier lifestyles. In fact, one of the newest uh, breakout programs that we've added to the 164-hour Soma Veda Thai Yoga Practitioner Certification Program is, in fact, our um, uh, Wellness Health Freedom Food Over Medicine Nutrition Counselor Certificate Program. So as of November of this year, uh, the next live course that we have coming up 
the people who complete that course will get an additional certificate to their Soma Veda practice certificate, but they will get a certificate that states that they are a certified nutrition consultant in the WHF FOM nutrition consultant program, and we are authorized providers uh, under Wellness Health uh, uh, Forum, Wellness Health Forum in Michigan. Uh, we are uh, we are authorized providers for that certification. And so our, our new addition, expansion, if you will, of breakouts and certification is just greater nutritional emphasis. Now, we've always had nutritional emphasis. Nutrition is very important in native and natural medicine. However, it's an evolving discipline. As we learn new information, as we see new research, we are able to expand and to um, adapt to the new information. Now, you will receive great support both in and after graduation. So the support you get from our schools doesn't stop when you graduate. We have uh, Dropbox, we have online courses, we have marketing materials, we have uh, programs and materials to help you build your practice. Uh, one of them is actually designed by one of the most successful medical practice, independent medical practice um, uh, financial consultants in the United States at this time. Actually, I want to say United States and United Kingdom. He's developed a special program just for our graduates. And so you'll have access to that. And uh, logos, marketing materials, and how to price the services that you're going to be offering, the new services uh, to help you to become financially successful. The average graduate with no previous experience makes back 100% of their initial investment for everything it took to go through the program within one to three months after graduation. I wish that for you. I hope you're going to be one of those people. I'll help you do it if I can. A new career for yourself with expanded opportunities to have a right livelihood. Right livelihood. Right livelihood means a way of making a living in the world that is as good for you as for the rest of the world. And it's good for everyone around you. Right livelihood is good for your finances. Right livelihood is good for your mental, emotional, and physical health. There's no occupational disabilities. There's no forests that have to be deforested. There are no children that have to be sold into slavery to support our lifestyle. There is no downside from the livelihood that we have. That's what we mean by way of right livelihood. It also means an ethical and a spiritual and a moral way of making a living if that's important to you. But it does include financial success, sharing compassion and love, through health and healing ministry, you now have in an ethical and moral way. So we think the highest level of ministry for a religious, spiritual person is in fact to offer healing to others. This is the likeness of Jesus in the most fundamental, in the most clear, present, functional, and fundamental way. So we believe that the occupation that we have and that the occupation that we promote is in fact uh, the highest level of ethical and moral practice uh, for good living as a human being in the world today. Yeah, I believe that, and I try to live as if I believe it. This program will give new meaning, direction, clarity, and purpose to your life. Transition into a genuine, holistic medicine way of making a living, or bring new dimensions to your existing ministry or therapeutic practice. Let us help you expand your practice. You already have one? That's terrific. Let us help you expand that. You will learn how to connect your spirit, your thoughts, actions, and deeds, your practical expression of love, care, and compassion to your everyday life, as well as your health, ministry, career, and profession. You know, the fastest group of new students that we have right now, fastest growing group, is nurses, chiropractors, acupuncture doctors, licensed medical doctors, uh, osteopaths, orthopedic doctors, uh, cardiac doctors, neurologists who are fed up, just absolutely to hear, fed up with the institutional medical practice that they've had up to this point and the restrictions on ethics and spiritual practice that state laws, all state laws, medical laws, uh, put upon them. 
they're educated and they they know what they want to do they want to practice medicine but they want to be good people at the same time they don't want to be compelled to do unethical practices just to make money and just to appease a governmental or private corporation's ideas of what is right now if you're in that situation and you want to expand we can help you you want to have uh, another gig in true healing, we can help you. You want to transition to a completely new ethical and moral practice based on traditional, natural, and indigenous medicine, we can help you. We can help you do that today. All you have to do is take that first step and reach out to us. You want an effective ministry? You really want to minister effectively in such a way that you can see the consequences of your ministry in real time? Yeah, we can help you. Now, what tools and systems do we have to share and support you with? First, our trademark system of Soma Veda Integrated Traditional Therapies, Religious Therapeutics, whether that's Thai Yoga Therapy, whether that is Ayurveda, uh, whether that is uh, Nutrition, our Nutrition Program, among others. Um, we also have our online school. We do teach Native American Indigenous Medicine. We do teach all eight primary ceremonies of our organization. And we do host ceremony here and participate in ceremony with other tribes and other tribal organizations such as Sundance, Sweat Lodge, Vision Quest, Adoption Ceremonies, Blanket Ceremony, Tobacco Blessing Ceremony, Purification Ceremony, etc etc we teach and actually practice we have a five acre sanctuary here and we have a beautiful medicine area we have beautiful trails we have gardens we have a healing atmosphere in fact just being on the property mo many many people talk about how healing it is simply to be here simply to be here and then of course we have the soma veda college of natural medicine which is a uh, Florida State DOE compliant and authorized degree granting institution, which is offering five different college degrees based on these very same sacred, traditional, indigenous, ethical, moral principles. And all of our degree programs at somaveda.org, at Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine, are based on these principles. Then we have the Putai Swan Sangha. Um, I'm one of several. Uh, Achan, Gold Sash, or Master Teachers of Thai Traditional Healing Arts and Thai Traditional Martial Arts of Krabikravang, Muay Thai, Muay Chaya, Muay Baran, Rusi Dotan, among others. And I am passing on those traditions as part of every program. Martial Arts and Self-Defense is part of ethical medical practice. And when we say martial arts and self-defense, we don't just mean self-defense against attacks from strangers, although that could be true, even though considering most self-defense situations are with family members or people that individuals know close and personal. But it also has to do with the mind, spirit, and body. It has to do with the emotions. It has to do with depression. It has to do with anxiety. It has to do with mental durability. It has to do with emotional fluidity and emotional stability. And martial arts and also the meditative disciplines, which are part of those, like Vipassana or mindfulness meditation, are invaluable to not just being a health care provider, but to actually being more healthy. And that is aside from the fitness component. We're not a fitness program, but fitness is a big part of traditional medicine. So we have to teach in our school the physical part, the mental part, the emotional part, and the energetic and spiritual part. And this is one school that teaches all of those things, at least to some degree, in every program. Last but not least, I want to reiterate this because we're a tribal organization, because we are a federally recognized tribal organization, because we have members from 41 different federally registered tribes who are part of our tribal organization practicing Native American religious principles, we're able to offer our graduates a legal shield, a ministry-based legal umbrella that allows an unfettered or unrestricted legal umbrella to practice 
our full scope of practice in all 50 states, U.S. territories, and over 100 countries outside of the United States. So, for example, our college degrees can be apostilled for any country in the United Nations under the Hague uh, Apostille Treaty. And we often do. We, we have graduates from many countries and their diplomas are recognized in their countries for medical licensing, especially, for example, consider uh, EPISOC and uh, Ecuador and Nevis and West Indies and um, Thailand and so on and so forth. So uh, we would very, we'd be very much happy to add that to your degree or your diploma. All you have to do is ask, let us know what country you need the apostille for. Thank you for joining our mission. Welcome to the Thai Yoga Center, the Soma Veda College of Natural Medicine. Learn Thai Yoga online and the Putai Sawan Sangha for Krabikrabang, Muay Thai, Muay Chaya, Muay Baran, Kali, Pekiti Tersha Kali, and sometimes a little Pentax Silat. Uh, so, uh, Vipassana, Mindfulness Meditation, Rishi Yoga, Traditional Thai Yoga, Rishi Dotan, ThaiYogaCenter.com is the primary website for certificate programs. SomaVeda.org is the primary website for SCNM College. SomaVeda.com, S-O-M-A-V-E-D-A, SomaVeda.com is the home website for the Native American Indigenous Church. So take your time, go through the materials, 10,000 pictures, hundreds of photo galleries from past classes, many articles, many research. Our textbooks are award-winning. We also have award-winning doc instructional document documentaries. Uh, take your time. Learn more about us. And of course, if you have any questions or want consideration for any of our programs, personal information, and or to request a scholarship, send me an email at native, A-I-C, at somaveda.com. That's native, A-I-C, at somaveda.com. Look forward to talking to you soon. Aho, kapkum makap, and see you on the flip side. <laughs>